what what is up guys even fireballs here welcome back to an, another channel video to today i'm go gonna be talking about the, the 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 rubik's cube and if you guys watch my channel uh you might be a bit confused as to why i'm making this video it's just one of those random videos on my channel and i'll continue uploading asphalt 8 videos how after this so what exactly is a rubik's cube so a rubik's cube is basically a three by three cube puzzle designed by a hungarian inventor or owner rubik and basically it's like this cool thing and to, to today it evolved it into the modern speed cube which is what i have so Basically, speed cubes like these are for around seven or eight dollars. You can get them pretty easily. Now, basically, the Rubik's cube solving kind of improves your brain power, and it's like a very cool thing to show off to your friends if you know this solve Rubik's cube. So, basically, uh, so let's get 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 to know it. So we have this piece called a corner so this corner is red green and white this corner is red yellow and green so we have a bunch of corners and, and corners are ba basically these things over here now we have have something called edge pieces which are these so these these four p these four pieces over here which i'm pointing these are edge pieces but basically those are like directly next to a corner piece so this is an edge piece and then these are the center pieces so if you pull off the cap you can actually see the interior of the cube which is a screw and, and, and i'll put the center piece like one so so basically the piece in the center is called the, the center piece now the cube has six faces and six, six colors and uh, it, it's basically if you've n n n never tried out solving a cube before or, or you have absolutely no idea on how to solve it then to today I'll uh, teach you how, how to solve it as well as uh, explain a few a a algorithms and a few tricks that may help you solve it faster. Here is a fully scrambled Rubik's cube. So uh, no, normally most cubers start with the white cross as a more efficient way of cubing. Uh, I do too, except that uh, I think that the beginners should, should like learn the daisy first. So the first step is the da daisy, which basically you have to like align four edge p pieces. So this is for be beginners only and if you know how to solve a Rubik's cube and you want to le learn the white cross you, you, you can also see uh, other videos on the internet. So basically here's how to solve the first part the daisy. Start by holding your cube like this. Now if you have an edge piece over here and here just turn it up and align both of them or if you have an edge piece here just turn this up and then bring this here now we have to search for, for our last edge piece which is over here now we want this edge piece to go from here to here so now so so if we try to turn it it will bump out the, the corner there and that's not good, good, good at all turn it back now here, here here's what to do turn the up face once and align it in place and you've got your dead daisy but but hold on we are aren't done there, there are a lot more ways you can do do the daisy if you have different positions now here is one of the more common cases where you have one white edge piece here but uh, you have this blue and white edge piece you want this edge piece to come over here this edge piece to come over here 
and this edge piece should go over here. So now firstly bring your orange edge piece up, then turn this twice and put this in place. Then what you do is um, basically just turn it back like this, turn it back. And then what you have to do is find the blue edge piece which is over here so just bring that up and, and you've got your da daisy here is the third va variation for for the daisy you have one piece over here wait let me just move this piece so you have one piece here but this piece is on the bottom so so you want that piece to come over here but how will you do it so, so if i turn this and i turn it like this then it won't work so I'll turn it back in place and what, what I'll do is I'll turn it like this, I'll turn it like this and then I'll slide it into place and I'm going to get it like this. So that's how it's supposed to work. Now here is something else you may see while you're solving the cube. You may see you have an edge piece on the bottom which is good because then you can just turn it up and you can align it now we have another edge piece over here so turn it over here then turn this and just align it up so practice the da daisy a few times until you get, get, get it now the next step is to solve the white cross but before that we ha have to match the edges so here's how you match your edges the first edge we have is white and red so just bring it up to match the edge with, with, with its centerpiece basically in the white cross we want the edges and the center pieces to, to be matched and there should be a white cross here with all the matched edge pieces so after you've got something like this turn it down next we have orange and white white and orange just turn that and align it down. Now blue and white is already aligned, so just turn that down. And then the last one is green and white, so just turn this, turn it down. Now the next step is to start solving the, the first layer, which is basically this full layer around. So just practice the white cross and see, see if it's hard or easy. Now now we'll do the um, we'll start doing the for first layer, which is extremely simple. So firstly, we want this corner to this white piece over here and the red here and green here. So this is like a twisted piece, but it's not thank God. And this white should be here. So so what I mean is like if you turn this then you it's over here and if you turn it like this you can align it in place so this is a, an example of how your first corner should, should look, look like next we have white and red white and blue so i'll, I'll just bring this corner until it's like this and i can't uh, align it because it will become a twisted corner then so instead of that i'll just turn it sideways turn it up Turn it back and then turn it down. Now this corner is aligned too. The next corner we have is white and orange. So what, what we'll do with that is we'll take it up, take it out, and then take this up again, turn it twice, turn it down again. Then turn it here and you've got it aligned. Now the last piece will requires the, the same thing as orange. Up, left, down. And boom, you've got the first layer. layer. So ju ju just keep practicing the, this first layer. And um, the ne ne next step is to solve the middle layer. Which is basically like having this entire layer fully solved. Now the first piece to solve a, a middle layer is white, is red and green. Now all, all, always remember, here's a quick trick for, for re remembering in your head to, to know where to, to, to put the edge piece. 
so for a example if you know how, how, how to solve the cube and you put the edge piece in here in, instead of here by, by mistake then you will not un, un, under the, it will like take you too long to solve it so here's a quick trick on how to remembering how to do it remember that that if you have green and red then that means that always take a look at the side and if that piece has green and red and red, red, red is on the side you know you ha have to move left so the algorithm for for putting it on the left side is it's like this u anti-clockwise l anti-clockwise u clockwise l clockwise now you will get, get get something like, like this then u clockwise now face clockwise u counterclockwise face counterclockwise and you've got that edge in place now here is another example here we have blue and red so just take take a look at the side nope this one's orange yes this one's red so so the algorithm for for, for turning right is u clockwise r clockwise u count u counterclockwise and then r counterclockwise then u counterclockwise face counterclockwise u clockwise and r face clockwise now you have something like this which will look good honestly next we have orange and blue now we have to to to, to do the right hand we ha ha have to put it on the right hand side so look here no it's not blue but here it is blue so we will turn it like this and we'll bring it in place now the last one has green and orange so we'll just take that to here and no orange is green is not, not here but yes green is here so so you know that you have to like turn it there so just so 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 just move it left u counterclockwise l counterclockwise u clockwise l clockwise u clockwise face clockwise u counterclockwise and then face counterclockwise and boom you're done with the mirror layer the, the next step is solving the yellow cross which is basically making like a yellow cross over here which is extremely simple and i'll show you how to do it firstly you have to have hold your cube like this now if you have three yellow pieces here three ye ye yellow pieces here or only one ye yellow piece here then you're good, good to go because if you like have we only if you have this this or only this one one piece then you you will be able to do it so now for all three of those variations you have to use one algorithm which i like to which i like like to call for says or so so that basically means f u r u r f and then you you'll see we have have something like this and our white cross it, and our yellow cross is solved if you've not not solved it yet then try it a few more times and and if you have the different positions then i i'll show you how to do it so basically if you have something like, like like this here just turn it and it has to uh, align to to the, the, this position if you have your yellow piece on the side here it it's fine you just have to do do this al al algorithm twice so this al algorithm goes by r u r u r u 2 r so it's like this so r clockwise u clockwise r counterclockwise u clockwise again then r uh, clockwise u twice and then r 
so 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 basically an easy way of re remembering it is that r just just keeps moving and u always turns in the same direction if you have your ye yellow face solved then c continue the next step is solving the final layer so so the first part of solving the final layer is like just aligning these co corners with, with their co correct face so firstly we have this thing over here so so we'll just align it with green and it should look like this so we have red over here this is red and we have all our pieces here now just turn it around and hold it at the opposite face and then start doing this algorithm r f r b b2 b2 means you're turning the rear face twice like this then r f r b2 then r r u so basically you 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 can just remember it like this so it's quite easy to re remember you can re remember it like run to me fast ru ru run to me back back and then run away fast run to me back back run to me up that's basically how you can remember it now if you have something like this continue to, to, to the next step the final step of solving the rubik's cube is just well solving it so if you have one face solved then hold it at the back like this and then start like this so f2 u l r f2 l r u f2 and our rubik's cube is solved now um now here's something else that may happen while you're solving the cube so let's just say that you have something like this your orange face is at the back and you have this so f2 u l r f2 l r u f2 and it's not solved well that's fine do do it again I will still be solved. Okay, so that that's it for for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed, and and be be sure to like and subscribe. Bye.